your people. I, I have to come out about something that I do on these. Uh, some of you record your, yours too. Uh, um, and I do record mine and my, my sets. So I try to... I'm still working on stuff. I'm new to this. So this is the only way I get to judge. Since I don't have people booing me or throwing shit at me. or And everybody <laughs> here is so sweet. So I don't know how bad I'm doing or good I'm doing. So I have to watch it myself and wait for people to lace into me in the in my comments section when I post these on YouTube. So I don't even know if I'm getting anywhere or not. But I'll find out because I'm going to come up there and invade San, San Josie really soon. Find some of my Asian cousins that have been hiding from me up there. You got a lot of Asians up there. Um, you know, it's kind of... It, uh, I, I, I like this. This is fun. We, we do got a good looking group. Yeah, yes, that includes... Uh, you, Uncle Vic, all you beautiful. Hey, Uncle Vicodin. We got the lovely Tommy Feldman. Check out his podcast every Friday afternoon, 5 p.m. Tommy Feldman's happy hour. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. You know what? Like, I used to get a lot of shit from people when I was younger. And um, when, when I started becoming pubescent, they'd be like, oh, Ezra likes everybody. E Ezra thinks everybody's cute. And they said it like a bad thing. I'm like... I even didn't even get it then. Is that bad that I like everybody? They're like, girls aren't going to like you because you like everybody. And <laughs> just saying that, I felt stupid. You you think everyone's cute. Like, sh am I supposed to go around and be like, oh, she's ugly. She looks like a horse's foot. She looks like a horse's horse's foot. Like, are you serious? Like, why would I... Why was that a bad thing? I never understood it now. Like, I if... if I think if I did that now, I'd probably get a whole lot of play. But then again, I could just flash the ring and that'll get me something. Because like, cause like, oh, he's married now. I want what someone else has. Because that's how that works. You can be like, hey, uh, this is real. It's really attached to someone. Like, oh, well, now I got to steal him from someone. Because jobs are like women. I shouldn't teach my son this, but I don't care. Uh, once you get one, you, you could get more. Like, if you have a job, you only get a job is to have a job because when you have a job they're like oh he's employed well now we want to hire him and that works for a both ways dating men do that to women like also like the only time you're gonna land someone to be with is when you're with somebody else um i'm i'm, I'm my time's almost up but i do want to share that i am trying to uh shake other substances uh uh, these weed names, though, that's what I'm going to shake with. I'm going to use weed to get off of other things. And who names these? Uh, this strand? <laughs> when I went to Oregon, uh, they got a strand I got in Oregon. When I went to see my son because I'm such a good dad. I went to Oregon and bought weed. But uh, horchata? I couldn't help but ask everyone in Oregon, like, you guys know what Mexicans are and the people that make it? Like, do you even know what this is? Or did you just, like, see it, like, on a... <laughs> did you hear George Lopez say it once and you thought it was funny to name a strand after that? Like, because that place is white as shit. Like, but, uh, speaking of white as shit, I do work at Cracker Bar. I'll rock that real quick. That's my three-star apron. But this is, like, this is, like, putting on a, a, a rookie, uh, thing here. Because, uh... Every time you move up, that's, I'll tell you, oh, that'll be my non-joke thing. The stars is how far you've gotten in your training. I have a four star and it needs ironed. So it's in the dryer. Um, Cracker Bar is really fun to work at. I have a good time there. Um, I honestly think I make some better food than what we serve, but I can't serve it as efficiently as they do. But it, it, it is fun. It's interesting explaining to people, because uh, Mexicans ask, like, what are grits? I'm like, it's just, all it is is a, it's like a hominy, but not in a soup. <laughs> so that's how I explain Cracker Barrel to my uh, Chicanos that come around here. So uh, I'll give the rest. Hey, come, come on down. If anybody comes down, I'll get you my discount. Or if I go up there, we'll f invade one and we'll get the discount. So thank you, guys. Thank you for everything that you did. <laughs> Complete ca Cracker Barrel, a complete um, restaurant. It's a two-parter. It is a, it's the full title is Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. Um, it's a it's a general store that you can shop in, and you don't have to eat at all, or you can go to the restaurant. But just like Disneyland, they're really smart. To leave the restaurant, you have to go through the gift shop to pay. Like getting off of a ride. Like, oh, you got off the Matterhorn? Welcome to the gift shop. They pull that same shit, and it's genius. 
It'd be like if you uh like if you were like a whore and you're like, oh, before you, but after, now that now that I finished you off, why don't you go in and buy some like having a liquor store in your house? Like, well, you. <laughs> That's a good idea. Let's open up a cat house and we'll let's do that. All of us, so all of us who fail, we're gonna open up a whorehouse that has a gift shop and be like, I slept with bleep, and that's your picture will take it. And hey, this in is my a, retirement. I'll, I'll do that in my apartment here. That was a good ride. <laughs> Ezra, I'm that closer to retirement than not. Okay, that's a bitch for your next comedy. I'm glad I recorded that. That was better than everything oh, I just. Ezra, you did Good. That was worse. That was better than anything else I just yammered on about. Thank you guys. A man with a secret plan there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our next guy.